But even the Beatles can't have known what they were starting back in Liverpool in 1962, or how long it would last, as they took us all on a journey to the toppermost of the poppermost. People de demand that you think, how long are you going to last? Well, you can't say, you know. You can be big-headed and say, yeah, we're going to last ten years. But as soon as you've said that, you think, you know, we're lucky if we last three months, you know. Well, obviously, we can't keep playing the same sort of music until we're about 40, because no, when we're sort of old men playing from me to you, nobody's going to want to know at all about that sort of thing. So, you know, we've thought about it, and probably the thing that John and I will do uh, will be write songs as we have been doing as a sort of sideline now. We'll probably develop that a bit more, we hope. Who knows, at 40 we may not know how to write songs anymore. I hope to have enough money to go in, into a business of my own by the time we um, do flop. <laughs> and, um, I mean, we don't know, it may be next week, it may be two or three years, but I think we'll be in the business, either up there or down there, for at least another four years. I've always fancied having a, a lady's hairdressing, so you know, a string of them, in fact, and trot round with me stripes and me tails, you know, like a cup of tea, madam. Like